Flash arrays boast IOs per second, IOPS, that put legacy disk arrays to shame with very competitive pricing. Now, since all flash arrays boast high IOPS, what should savvy buyers focus on? Research suggests that consistent latency and sustained performance are now critical. But as TPCC and SPC1 benchmarks show, some flash arrays have more than 10x the maximum latency of others. I spoke to Vikas Ratna, Senior Director of System Architecture, Violin Memory, about the problem of sustained performance and low latency. Uh, it's no secret that sustained performance is the key thing in the market, but very few people talk about the sustained performance. To put it politely, uh, not that great sustained performance compared to the peak performance. Flash requires free space reclamation, or garbage collection, which can increase latency and slow performance. Violin has a unique solution to the problem. What differentiates us is we are intimately aware which one is going to go through the garbage collection. So when the garbage collection is going on, we don't go and test the data from there. Data is spread across, you know, all over. And we go ahead and, and pick the data from uh, the media which is not under the garbage collection. That allows us to deliver the sustained, you know, uh, level of latencies. Violin says they achieve a sustained 500,000 IOPS doing nothing but writes in a single 3U box. But what about the more common 70% read and 30% write case? If you go to 70-30, that sustained uh, performance goes to 750K plus. And th this is all, again, in 3U box. We don't need, you know, 20U boxes. It's 3U box, 750K sustained IOPS. Why is sustained IOPS important? What is the business benefit? If you can have that sustained IOPS with that kind of low latency, now you can increase the number of applications that you can pack in this 3U box. Because Violin has engineered their array from the raw flash up, instead of using commodity SSDs, they are able to make a unique promise. So when we design our system, performance has been our hallmark. You know, we make this a statement that every 18 months we'll double the density and we'll double the performance. Flash arrays have won the database performance battle. Now deduplication and other services enable more use cases. Our historical strength has been to be the best to support the databases of the world. With the deduplications arrival, now you have opportunity to also pack in the VDI workload as well. Uh, so now you have a platform which can support applications which are low latency hungry and high ops hungry, as well as the applications which work best in the capacity optimized you know, fashion. We have all the enterprise features there, snapshot, clone, you know, replication, thin, thick, uh, choice of dedupe, uh, LUN, and so forth. Violin, founded in 2005, has a long-term view. With flash cost reduction and efficient data services, the all-flash data center can now be realized. One $6 billion customer went from over 300 rack units of disk to 18U of Violin. How much would that save you? Here's Violin CEO Kevin DiNuccio with his business perspective. So I think coming from being the pioneer in the industry and going through multiple generations, we've learned a lot about what it takes to build a system that is enterprise scale, enter enterprise re reliable. And I think what, you know, along with the flash cost curve that's come down, we're, we're now able to really engineer a system level product that can drive you know, performance scale, density, and a cost structure that rivals disk. The Storage Mojo Take. Before you okay the next million dollar buy for a legacy array, take a close look at all flash arrays. Their high performance and low latency enables you to do more with fewer servers and licenses. But as TPCC and SPC1 benchmarks show, some flash arrays are much more consistent. The benefit of a predictably low latency array with sustained IOPS is reliable performance with fewer application hangs. The days of costly short-stroked 15K disks and expensively cached RAID controllers are over. You can get more performance for fewer dollars than ever before. The promise of all flash arrays is not in the future, but here today. For Storage Mojo, I'm Robin Harris.